This video is showing use of telescopes and optical forceps in pediatric rigid bronchoscopy. Pediatric ventilating bronchoscope showing proximal end with injection cannula for venturi. Prismatic light deflector with connection for fiber optic cable. Adapter for respiration ceiling cap. And if venturi is used. Fluox adapter with sliding glass window, movable port for suction catheter, Hopkins Bronco telescope of 2.9 mm diameter, optical alligator forceps for hard foreign body and for soft foreign body. This assembly of forceps with the telescope is passed through the bronchoscope. Endo camera is attached to telescope for viewing on the monitor. Foreign body if of smaller size is removed through the scope under vision. Instrument trolley is showing various bronchoscopes, accessories and pediatric cyanoscope of 2.7 mm. Optical forceps showing distal end catching the soft foreign bodies like groundnut and peanuts. The alligator forceps showing catching of the hard foreign bodies like custard apple seed and other seeds. 9 month old child with respiratory distress, telescope is passed under GA to see the bronchial tree showing carina, right bronchial tree, right upper lobe bronchus, middle lobe bronchus and lower lobe bronchus with subapical segment and it's all basal segments. The scope is withdrawn up to carina and then later reinserted into the left bronchial tree showing upper lobe bronchus and lower lobe bronchus with all segments. This is a case of foreign body in left main bronchus. Under general anesthesia, direct laryngoscope is used to pass the bronchoscope through the glottis Ventilation is continued uninterrupted with oxygen and halothane. Direct visualization is possible with the glass window. Telescope is passed with attached camera. The video is seen continuously on the monitor. First inspection of the bronchial tree is done showing carina right bronchial tree with all its segments. Then the scope telescope is withdrawn up to carina and reinsert it into the left side showing foreign body and surrounding granulations and secretions. The telescope is now withdrawn. The telescope with the forceps and attached camera is reinserted as one assembly through the bronchoscope. The forceps tips are continuously seen on the monitor. When the foreign body is of larger size than the diameter of the bronchoscope, all three scope, forceps and foreign body are removed simultaneously as one unit under vision. This is endoscopic camera showing picture foreign body ground nut grasp beyond the granulations and removed as one unit along with the scope. After removal of the foreign body, the telescope is passed again to re-inspect for additional foreign body or pieces of foreign body left behind and any bleeding from the impaction site. In this case, it is showing granulations at the site of impaction. The telescope is now withdrawn. Another case of foreign body in trachea. 2 year old child with respiratory distress and history of foreign body inhalation x-ray right sided emphysema bronchoscopy done under general anesthesia revealed foreign body ground nut in lower trachea optical forceps are passed through the bronchoscope and foreign body grasped under vision and removed along with the scope as one unit.
Reinspection revealed granulations at the site of impaction near carina. Another case of foreign body right main bronchus. One year old child with respiratory distress. Foreign body coconut piece seen in right main bronchus. Grasped with the optical forceps under vision and removed along with the scope. as one unit as it passes through the glottis the axis needs to be adjusted reinspection revealed no foreign body or granulations the advantages are many precision accuracy brighter image high optical resolution magnification missed foreign body chances are less no mucosal trauma foreign body drops are less and documentation is possible thank you